Hey everyone, welcome to the assembly video for our retro record player box. I have all of my pieces cut out, as should you. And we're going to hop into the first project for 2023. Well, at least the first one I'm putting together. And, uh, well, we haven't really done anything very musical. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. This is going to be great for pretty much anyone that grew up uh, with vinyl. Um, I was not lucky enough to grow up with vinyl, maybe a little bit, but I definitely appreciate it for what it is now. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. And the bottom is the actual container that you're going to put your little gift in. And it's made up of these four pieces, as well as these pieces here. And I'll, I'll go through all of them because they are marked. Um, you'll notice on the tabs here, you have the letter B, B for bottom. And there's a Roman numeral three on that one. There's a B1. So we'll put that over to the left. There's a B2, a B3, and a B4. It's basically a square or a circle with four little dashes. Um, so we're going to put these together, okay, and make it all one piece, one connecting piece. And that's going to form our container. So grab B1 and let's begin by applying glue to the tab here. And let's take and spread that glue out to the very edge of the tab. Make sure everything is nice and clean. And we'll take B2 and line it up right next to it, making sure that these, these horizontal lines here match up on both pieces. And then once it's mostly set, you can fold it over onto itself and take a look at these two angles here for both of these tabs. They should sit flush on top of each other. Okay, and that's a good indicator that you've got it lined up correctly. And now we have these two sections joined. So now we're gonna go over to tab B as in boy two and apply our glue to that. And we'll connect piece B3 to that. Okay, so grab B3 and just like we did just a second ago, let's line it up. Try to get it as accurate as you can. Pop that down and go ahead and fold it over onto that seam and check the alignment there. That looks good. Hold that down. Okay. There we go. And that looks great. So there's one, two, and three. And now we're gonna apply glue to tab B3. And we're gonna take and connect that to section B4. Okay, and don't forget, um, if you're not comfortable using your finger to spread the glue out, um, you can use a brush, you can use a scrap piece of paper. I like to just use my finger because I have really good feel and control over where that glue is going. And then I, I have a, a just a damp little sponge underneath my desk that I put in place with a couple of little paper clips and just wipe my fingers off on that. Okay. And push that together. There we go. All right, so now we have one continuous piece here, as you can see, and we're gonna take this end and connect it to this end to close it up and form our box. And just like we did, I'm gonna spread that glue out to the very edge of our tabs. And you can literally just kinda close it, put it down like this and just the other end should just match up since this piece is symmetrical and obviously you want to still give it a visual appraisal. Make sure that it is in fact nice and lined up. I'm going to take it and fold it over onto that seam and press down and just continue pressing. There we go. Okay. All right. So now you're probably yeah, maybe asking yourself, well, what are these? Well, these little pieces here, we're going to glue those down up against the inside of themselves just to reinforce this piece. Okay. 
and that's going to go down pretty far, almost up to the tab. So let's do this. Let's just take and the most important thing is to make sure that we get the glue out to the very edge. And then we can do a little bit around the outside as well as the bottom. I'm just getting this out of the way so I don't accidentally get glue on it. And just take and fold it in. And you can literally just use your table to press that down and let that get a good hold. Okay. You move these out of the way temporarily. We'll do the same thing on the next section. Just focus that glue right at the very top, a little bit in the center, fold it in and press that down. And that's just going to make for a nice sturdy box. So you don't necessarily have to put anything musical in these boxes as gifts. Uh, I was thinking, you know, for people that actually still use records, you can get them a new head for their turntable, maybe a record cleaner. Um, but typically, I'd say most, most musicians, especially those that appreciate rock and roll, jazz, <clears throat> uh, blues, probably also appreciate turntables and maybe they themselves are musicians. So maybe some guitar strings, picks, um, you know, anything musical that would fit into this box. All right, so last one, I'm gonna fold that in, press it down, make sure it's making good contact at the bottom and on the sides. There we go, okay. All right, so the container is pretty much done and you can tell how sturdy it is, nice and heavy. All right, now let's take a look at these two pieces. You'll notice that on one of these, there's a little B uh, etched into it. So we're gonna leave that off to the side. That's gonna go on the inside. And the one that does not have the letter B on it is the one we're gonna, we're gonna need right now. We're gonna begin by putting glue on just one of these tabs to anchor this piece in place. This is gonna create the bottom for us. And I'm not sure I got enough glue on there. We'll see. Actually, I already know from experience that I didn't. So. I'm going to add a little extra on there and I'll take this piece, line it up nice and flush and centered on that side and just press that down into place. That's perfect. Okay. And then you can let it drop and press the rest of that tab down and just continue pressing down. Give that maybe 10, 15 seconds. Let it really completely set. Here we go. Let's take a look at that edge and that looks great. Now during this process here, I'll probably have one little edge that isn't sitting completely flush and I'll show you how we can work out that little kink. Okay. So now we're going to put glue on the remaining three tabs. I'm going to go a little bit heavier here on the glue because I've got a lot of real estate to cover and I can't do it that quick and I don't want that glue to dry. Okay, we're gonna spread that glue out to the edge, all the way out to the very corners as well. Just like that. There we go. And close it up. So you wanna focus on getting it lined up with this side here. Get it nice and centered, nice and all the way out to the edge. And then you can naturally, these two sides should just sort of fall into place if you need to give the the, the wall a little bit of a nudge, that's fine. After all, we are working with paper. It's okay. Flip that over, press down on the remaining tabs, remaining area of the tabs, I should say. There we go. Now, while we have it like this, we can take and apply some glue onto the tabs, a little bit in the center, don't need a lot. And we'll take that other piece the one with the little L on it, or is it a B? It's a B and pop that into place. And that's going to make this box even more solid and hide the tabs, make it look nice and pretty. Take a look at your seams. And as I mentioned, I'm probably going to end up with a few little gaps just because of how much surface area we're covering here. So I'll take a little scrap piece of paper 
and throw a little bit of glue right on the very corner of it. And you can literally just stick it between the two sections that are not sitting flush. Paint some glue in there and then just press that down. And it'll, uh, it'll look nice and clean. I've got another little gap there, so I'll do the same thing. Just apply a tiny bit of glue. You can even apply the glue on the very edge of the scrap piece of paper. So instead of on the surface, right on the edge, and just pop that right in there. There we go. And then you just press and hold that down for a few seconds and it should look nice and flush. Okay, I've got one more little area here that I'm gonna fix and then we can begin working on the lid. No, I should say the box top, because we've got two sections. We have the, the box top, and there's also a lid that opens up to reveal our little record player, which is a nice little touch. Okay, so it's doubled. It's, you know, it's, it's kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, <laughs> it's nostalgic. That's the word I was looking for. So that, that little section there with the, with the little record player has that element of nostalgia, while at the same time making this, this project practical as a box. So you got the best of both worlds. Okay, perfect. So that's good. Uh, we can actually put that off to the side because we're not putting any, anything else on it. And it looks great. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna go over to the top of the box and the top of the box, this is not the actual lid that opens up, just the top, is going to feature some panels. So we are going to get the panels in place. Okay, and you know what? Also, one other thing that we are going to do is we're going to put one part of the turntable together. And we're going to need this piece right here. Very simple little piece. I'll show you how that works in just a second. Uh, we'll also need these two pieces here, okay? And one has a little L on it with a series of little markers, and then one has nothing on it, okay? So those are the pieces we're gonna need. And just like we did with the, the main box, we're gonna take and, let's see here, we have, yeah. Uh, you'll see that this has a little L on it with the number three. Let me see here, this one has, an L with a number two, I'm guessing this is L1, L2, L3, and then L4. You'll notice the notch here, the notch should be facing down, okay? And just like before, going to begin by putting glue on piece L, as in lid one. Don't forget, spread that glue out to the very edge. And take L2. Line it up as accurately as you can. Take a look at the bottom. It should be nice and straight and flush there at the bottom. Press that down, fold it over onto itself. And it's another way to check your alignment. If it's off like that, obviously it's not aligned correctly here. I'm just, I'm exaggerating here by pulling it back. But if you're not pulling or tugging at it, and this piece here, the edge of this and the edge of this are sitting right on top of each other and it's nice and, nice and flush right here, then you know that you've got this aligned correctly. Same goes with this tab up on top. Okay, L1, L2 is together. Let's put some glue on tab L2. And we're gonna join this to section L3. Spread that glue out, nice and thin. Grab section L3. And line that up. Press it down, just like that. And then we'll take it and fold it over onto itself. And press that down. Okay. And now grab your glue. Let's add some glue onto tab L3. go and let's take and connect this to L4 
press that into place. Now, if you're uh, having to spend more time than I am between pieces here, because things are not staying in place as quickly as mine are, uh, just go easier on the glue, or maybe you're not spreading the glue out thin enough. Okay. All right, so again, all four pieces connected. And now what we're gonna do <clears throat> is we're gonna take and apply some of these panels. Uh, it's just a lot easier to do this while it's flat rather than waiting until everything's put together. Okay. All right, so obviously this panel here, now we have one panel here that has this little notch See if you can see it, there it is. And then you've got little, not little uh, slits cut out. These are gonna match up here. And we want that notch pointing up towards the tab. Okay, so the tab's here. You don't want it going this way. I'm not even sure if it would work. Actually it would, so don't make that mistake. Make sure that you're going up towards the tab. This one's pretty self-explanatory. It's gonna go around that. And that one is gonna go there. I'll show you that in a second, it's off camera. Okay, so let's get that in place and just begin applying your glue onto the panels. Make sure you try to get that glue out to the edge and then just a little bit along the inside. And do your best, you're gonna use the little slits as your guide, you want them to sit perfectly on top of those slits. And again, this little notch up here should be flush with the top. Press that into place. Okay, now one thing that I'm glad I remembered <clears throat> is we're not gonna put this one in place yet uh, because we do have a hinge mechanism that we need to glue to the base or to the lid and to the little uh, turntable element before we can put this down. So don't put that down just yet. That's gonna be one of the last steps actually. But we can do these pieces, this is fine. Okay, so let's get some glue on the next panel. And by the way, uh, this is some cool little retro paper. I took some, uh, some turquoise, some turquoise ink, just kind of ink the edges. And obviously the color of ink that you use is gonna be dependent on the paper that you use. So I wouldn't just use turquoise because I did. If you have like a red paper, it's not really, probably not gonna work very well. Probably gonna use, if you're using a red paper, probably go with a dark red or um, maybe even a purple. But again, it all depends on the paper you're using. Okay, so put this one in place. Just make sure that you have an even border going all the way around. That looks great. And this again, this panel, not only is it gonna make it look cool, but it's gonna sturdy this up and just make it a little more solid. All right, let's close this thing up by, we're gonna put glue. Um, this is tab L4. Okay, just get that glue on there. Not too much, not too little. Spread it out, you can feel it. And close it up. I'm just laying it flat since this is a uh, symmetrical piece, you can do that. I'm gonna take and fold it over onto that seam. Make sure everything sits flat. There we go, okay. Okay, so we have most of that together. Now these two pieces, uh, just like the base, uh, there's one that has a L on it, L for lid, with four little markers around each corner. And then there's one that has nothing on it. And that's gonna be the liner for the inside uh, the one that has nothing on it is, to is a tiny bit smaller than the one with the L on it. So we'll put that off to the side temporarily. And let's begin, just like we did before, by placing glue on one of these tabs to get it anchored. Okay. And spread that glue out to the very edge, just like that. And just make sure that the L is closest to you. I guess it really doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, it really doesn't, but we can go ahead and do that anyway and get that nice and centered and right up to the edge of that side. There we go, press that down. 
and just kind of keep pressing down. You can take it and flip it down and press that into place. And I notice that I'm a smidge off here. There we go. And then get the rest of that tab to make contact with this lid piece. Okay. And well, technically, I'm gonna leave this like this for just a second. Um, what I do wanna do before we do anything else, um, this piece here, this is one of the sections of the actual uh, head of the turntable. What we're gonna do, you wanna pre-fold everything, obviously, and there's a little triangular tab at one end. Go ahead and apply some glue to that tab. Nice and easy, nice and thin, not too much. You can thin that out with your finger. And let's get that, fold that down, and then take the other side and pop, pop that right on top. Okay, so we're just connecting it and making it a box, like a small box. Okay, just press that down, give that a few seconds to hold. And then we'll take these little trapezoid shapes and fold those down. We also have triangular shapes. We're gonna leave those alone for now, okay? And we'll put some glue on these little trapezoids. And I'm just gonna kinda dab those pieces with my finger like that. And we'll close it up. Like so. Okay. And I'm gonna use a little dowel to push down on the inside, get that to get a real good hold, like so. Okay, so there we go. Just have a little box. And what we're gonna do with these four little tabs, we're gonna use those in just a moment. Next, what we're gonna do is gra grab these two pieces, okay, and both of them have this little, little square cut out of them. We're gonna take this one and glue it to the other one first. Go ahead and apply your glue to the smaller one. It's gonna go on top of the larger one. Get a little bit of glue around that square. And obviously we can use the square as our guide for placement. And then of course, visually, you wanna make sure that everything lines up as well. We'll press that down. Okay, and then what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take this little square and pop it through the bottom. Should fit, it's gonna be pretty snug, but it should fit, or what might be easier is just to take and put the little triangles through. Okay, so it's gonna be like this. And I'm gonna flip this over and glue these to the underside of these two pieces. So I just put glue on one of the tabs first and I'll press that into place. So I've got that one glued. I'm gonna go over to the one that's opposite of that one, like this, and fold that over. Press that down. And then we have these two left. You just do these at the same time. Fold that over, fold that over. You just put that down on your surface, press down from the top. And there we go, okay? So that is going nowhere, absolutely nowhere. Okay, so now, what we need to make sure that we do here is you have the little L in the bottom right corner here, okay? This is gonna be the front of the top of the box once we close it up. This is the front, there's gonna be a handle here where these slits are, and we want this piece to be away from the little slits here. So this piece needs to be away from the front that's the back of the box. Okay, so while this is still flat, you'll notice there are four markers here, and that's to help with the placement of this piece here. So we can take and apply glue to this entire section. Like so, we can throw a little bit of glue on those little triangles as well. Okay, make sure that that little black piece is away from the front 
Use those little markers to help you with the centering. There we go. And voila. Okay, now there's one additional piece that we can put down while we have this flat, and that's this little guy here. We do have a series of little markers right here to help you with the placement of that. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that real quick. And this is like a, it's like a silver foil. It almost has like a, like a chipboard back or like a craft backing. I don't know if I've seen that before. Okay, so just pop that into place. You can always do that later. I just try to do as much as I can while everything's flat. Okay. <coughs> All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna close this up and this should be pretty familiar. We did something similar with the base or the bottom, the main container. So again, with the three tabs that we have to work on here, it's okay if you go a little bit heavier with the glue because we need a little more time to get it all in place and spread out along the three sections. We don't, we don't wanna end up with a bunch of gaps, which tends to happen when you're working with a large surface area, okay? So close this, focus on getting it aligned with this side here first, nice and centered, right out to the edge. And then the two sides, again, should naturally fall into place. If you need to give them a little bit of a nudge, that's totally fine. Okay. And I can't exactly put that out flat because of our little black nub, and that's okay. You can still push down on those tabs. Just use your hand to back it. There we go. Okay, let's give that a few seconds and see if we end up with any little gaps. I don't think we will. I did pretty good there. Notice this side needs a little extra push. That looks great. This side, maybe not so much. Yeah, actually pretty good. Okay, so just to kind of hold its shape, you can pop this on top of the main container. There's some air squeezing out of there, and that looks sharp, okay? All right, so getting there. Now, don't forget, this is gonna, oh, you know what, I did forget something, whoops. Let me take this off. Forgot about the liner. That's this other remaining piece. It's gonna go right in here. So we can take and apply our glue onto the tabs and then a little bit on the inside. And just pop that in there, make it nice and sturdy, polish it up, look nice and clean. You can actually put this on your surface as long as that little black piece is hanging off the edge. Go ahead and pop that back on. There we go. Nice and snug. Cool. All right. So let's go ahead and assemble our lid. Okay. And before we do, Before we put the lid in place, actually, you know what? There's a couple things we can do before that. I totally forgot about the handle, which we need to assemble. And it is made up of these pieces here. Let's see. We'll need those. And then there's four little black circles. We're gonna need to get our hands on those. And let's see, am I missing anything else? I don't think so, no, nope. that's it. Okay, so for the handle here, what we're gonna do first off is you can take and these two pieces, we're gonna glue them back to back, 
but we are not going to apply glue to these tabs, okay? So just focus on putting glue on the main sections of the handles, okay? Like so, try to spread that glue out on as much of that piece as you can. And then just line that up. You can flatten these out, just make sure there's no glue on them. Okay, and it looks like this, whatever this material is, doesn't like to stick to itself, that's okay. Just have to be a little more patient while it sets. Okay, just press that into place. So it's basically back to back like that. Okay, give that a few seconds. And then I'm going to take and glue this down on both sides. A nice little accent piece. It's going to be flush pretty much throughout until it gets down here. So the, the silver part will only be visible in this little section here. So get your glue onto this piece. We're going to repeat this again with the other side, obviously. And I think for this, I'm going to hold it up. So I can kind of use my fingers to feel that it's aligned correctly. And by just kind of squeezing it, lightly squeezing there, you can kind of shove it into place. Here we go, that looks great. And do the same thing on the other side. And hopefully you didn't put the lid on twice already like I did. I think that's just the OCD in me. Makes me feel like I'm almost complete, almost completed something when it's looking like it's almost complete, obviously. All right, so there we go. Nice sturdy handle. And then these four little black uh, circles are gonna go right at the very edge there where you have a little circle there. Two on each side, obviously. Try to get that as centered as you can. There we go, there's one. Do the other one on this side. There we go. Okay, and two more on the other side. And I'll show you how that little handle goes together. Um, now this reminds me of an email I received from one of our dreamers. Uh, I think she was talking about the teapots and she mentioned, hey, you know, when you make the teapots, because oftentimes for handles and things like this, um, we make them dimensional by way of, you know, thickening things up with layers, but don't make it like realistic, truly dimensional where it's like super thick. And I think it's just because, uh, you know, we want things to look true to form while not making things frustrating for you. It can get a little frustrating when you're working with tiny little tabs, like a bunch of them, especially on a little piece like that. Um, so we try to avoid that. Okay, so to get this in place now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold these together, slide them through this little slit, and we're gonna glue those to the inside here. Okay, so you can see how that looks. I'm gonna put some glue on one side first, like that. You don't need to cover the whole thing. Just make sure you get enough glue on there and then take it and fold it over and just press it down. I'm using my thumb to press up against it from the outside and these two fingers here to push from the inside. And you can see it's nice and flat there. And then we're gonna fold this one back towards us, apply a little bit of glue on that surface and then push it up against the inside on the bottom there. Hold that in place for just a moment, and there you go, nice and flat in there. And we'll repeat the same thing with the other half, other side. Fold that over, and press and hold. Okay, there we go. And last one, fold that over and give that a little press, and voila, okay. So there we have it, got our nice little handle on it. Now I can put this on here. <laughs> Watch, there's another thing I need to do. Hopefully not. Okay. There we go, okay. Now we can go over to 
the main lid part here. Okay, so we have this piece here, and if you take a look, uh, on the tabs we have a letter T, and here on these two pieces we have a letter T as well. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna connect this section here, and then this section here, okay? So let's do that. Let's start off by applying glue to one of these T's. It doesn't really matter since this is a symmetrical piece and all these other pieces are pretty much symmetrical too. Uh, one thing you do want to do though is keep the T. Okay, sorry. These tabs are different sizes, obviously. This T, the one with the T, you want that, you want to keep that closer to the top. Okay, so uh, actually the easiest way to describe this and explain this is when you join this and put this in place, give me one second here, is to keep, you'll notice that this tab here is thinner. It's the same width here. Okay, this tab here and this tab here are the same width. This one is thicker. You don't want it flipped around. Okay, so I'll show you what I mean here in just a second. I can do it with the other one because what's going to happen is we're going to join this together like this. Okay, so let's go over to the other side here, and you'll notice if I put it down like this, this tab is thicker than this one here, so we need to flip it over. We want the skinnier tab matched up with the other skinny tab. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply some glue to the other T. Spread that glue out. Just kind of dab it if you want to. You can do that. Okay, and again, Skinnier tab matched up with the other skinny tab. Press that into place. I'm gonna fold that over onto itself just to check my alignments. That looks good. Okay, so that's what that's gonna look like. And then what we're gonna do, okay. So now we're gonna take and apply glue to, let me pull this out of the way. We're gonna apply glue to one of the tabs here on either side, doesn't matter the side with the letter T on it, the thicker tab. Spread that out. There we go. And just line that up like so. Okay, and just press that into place. There we go. Okay, so next we're gonna take and apply some glue to our little trapezoid friend here. And spread that glue out. Nice and thin. And pop that in there. Line that up as accurately as you can. You can use your surface too. Press down, help that, help that glue get in there. And then finally, Apply some glue to this long T, long tab. Spread that out. There we go. And we're going to tuck that under and get that lined up as accurately as we can. There we go. Press that into place. Then finally, we can close this up. We've got one more little trapezoid guy here. And line that up. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna put that down on my surface and press down. Okay, now next, uh, there's a couple of the things that we need to do with this piece. Um, for one, we have a liner that's gonna go inside that's a different color, okay? And that's gonna go right in there. I'll make sure I'm not missing anything. I don't think I am. Okay. So let's do that. Let's get this one in place. This is uh, American Crafts AC Straw is the color. I hit this with a little bit of orange ink. There we go. And 
just pop that in there. This has to be centered so that there's an even border inside. Do your best to get that even border. It doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. Okay. And now we're going to create a little lip for this thing to give it the illusion that it's dimensional and also help it be a little more sturdy. Um, so let's anchor this to one of the tabs first. We'll just pick a longer one. Get some glue on that. Spread that glue out to the very edge. Should have a good consistency, not too dry, not too wet. And grab this piece, pop it right on there, right up to the very edge, make sure it's centered. You might need to kind of nudge things a little bit to make sure everything lines up correctly. Okay, you can take it and drop it so that you can press down on the rest of the surface area of that tab. Make sure everything is making solid contact. There we go, nice clean seam. Okay, I'll pull this out of the way temporarily while we apply glue to the remaining three sides and then we're gonna make a pie. Kidding, we're not really gonna make a pie, but it's gonna feel kinda of like we're making a pie. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. Going a little bit heavier with the glue here, just because we need the extra time to work our way all the way around. But spread that nice and thin. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so now go ahead and close this up. And just like before, focus on getting it aligned on the opposite side of where it's hinged first. Nice and straight, nice and centered. It helps if that glue is still a little wet. There we go. And now we're making a pie. Just gonna kind of go around like you're making a, a pie crust, the edge of it, I should say. There we go. Make sure that's nice and flat. And there we have it. Okay, so that is looking sharp. Maybe just kind of go around one more time, continue pushing it down. And there we go. Nice solid top. Okay, and as you can see here, it's gonna go right on here. And we're going to use that little hinge mechanism to make it stay in place. Okay, so almost done here. Um, now, one thing that I usually do, but didn't do this time. Okay, it doesn't matter which side is the front or back. It's all the same, pretty much. Uh, we have some panels that are gonna go on this, as well as the top. Okay, and then we also have a little decorative element that's gonna go on that as well. Now, uh, one thing to keep in mind here is one of these, we're gonna center, and we wanna make sure that this little notch is flush with the bottom. That's gonna match up with the notch from the front here, okay, right there. So just have to keep that in mind when we go to uh, put this whole thing together. Now, one other thing too is we don't wanna put uh, this piece on yet until we put the hinge mechanism on. So take this piece, the, pe the piece that does not have the little notch, and put that off to the side along with this piece from the earlier step. Okay, so again, this, is, this needs to face down into the opening. Here's the opening. It needs to be centered but flush with the, the bottom here. So let's do that first. Let's get that put in place. Okay, and use the little notch as your guide for placement at the bottom, but also make sure that uh, left and right, you have it where the borders are even on the left and the right hand side. Okay, there we go. You can actually put that down flat on your surface and press that down. Beautiful, okay. And then these two sides can go on as well. Just make sure you get them centered as well. Just 
get that glue on there. And nice even border on all four sides around the perimeter. That looks good. Maybe nudge that down a bit. And then you can use your table, press that down. That looks great. Okay, and now, there we go. Okay, perfect. All right, so now uh, while we're here, um, we have the panel that goes on top to finish that off. And then we also have some decorative elements that are gonna go on top of this as well. It includes this piece and this piece and this little guy here. Okay, so we have this. You'll notice that our, there's a set of little markers and that's for the very ends of our, well, I guess this would be a treble clef. Okay, and that's gonna go on just like that. So let's take and get this glued into place. You don't need to worry about getting glue on every single inch of this. It's not necessary, but do your best to cover as much as you can before the glue starts to dry. I would definitely try to get some glue out at the very tips of the little, um, boy, it's been a long time since I was in music theory and I don't really read music. I read tabs. But there you go. And just like that. That nice and centered, press that down. Okay. And this piece is also symmetrical, so it doesn't really matter if you do it this way or that way. We just wanna get this centered so we have an even border all the way around. And just get your glue flowing here. It's gonna be a cool little piece. I think um, not including cutting, should be able to get this done in oh, probably about it, maybe an hour, hour and 20 minutes maybe. And that's cool, it's a, it's a good, good sized project for what it is. You're not really gonna find anything like this anywhere if you're trying to present a cool, unique, one of a kind sort of gift. Okay, so, um, well, this thing here, it also has some little score marks and I think it's symmetrical. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter, but we'll go ahead and glue this down onto the panel. And again, make sure you get a little bit of glue on these little, these little nibs, nubs. Okay. And just match those up with the little markers on both sides, make sure it's symmetrical. There we go, press that down into place, just like that. And then we want the musical notes facing the front. So remember, this little notch here is where the front is, and this is gonna go on just like this, with an even border all the way around. So let's get that glued into place. And then all that's really left to do is put together the little sections and pieces for the uh, actual turntable, which are somewhat dimensional, but are gonna go together pretty quick. And for those of you that have never made a round element, well, this will be fun. because we make it super easy for you. Okay, make sure it's centered on top and bottom. Okay, there we go. Put that over, press down from the inside. There we go, beautiful. Make sure the edges are nice and flush. There we go, cool. Looks great. Okay, so now you can take this and put it on 
Let's see how that looks. That looks great. Okay, so we're gonna glue this section, the smaller section, to the back. This is the part where we don't have any of the blue panels. Okay, and just wanna make sure that that stays nice and flush. So let's get our glue flowing. And if you want, you can actually just kind of use your surface to guide this into place. We want to make sure it's flush with the top. Okay, like that. Nice and centered as well. Make sure it's centered. Mine is not, so I'm going to pull this off and try that one more time. Maybe using the table is not a great idea. That's okay, it happens. It's fine as long as you know what you're doing. I'm using my fingers on both sides now to feel to make sure that it's lined up correctly and just ensure that you kind of keep going down. You can fold this over on itself so that you can press here to make sure that's getting good contact. Like so. There we go. And put that down on my surface and press down from the inside. Help the rest of that get nice, strong contact. And let's see if we end up I'm noticing some little gaps up there. So we'll grab a scrap piece of paper, throw a little bit of glue right on the very edge, and just literally pop it right in between the two sections and press that into place. If you have any little gaps that are obviously more than the, you know, more than looks good. If, it, if it's obvious while you're looking at it, that boy, there's a huge gap there, then just clean it up and fix it. It's not a big deal. There we go. I'll just press that and hold that in place. There we go. And then maybe here at the very edge, I'll just lift that up and give that a little extra love. Okay. All right, so our hinge is in place on the top. So let's go ahead and put this on. Make sure it's nice and centered. Okay, and then as you probably guessed, I'm gonna take and glue the other half of this down onto the lid. Okay, so let's go and apply our glue to this whole section here. Okay, pop that on, make sure it's centered. Just kind of feel and make sure it's centered, nice and flush out at the front. And you can take it and press it down on the back, okay, and continue to press down. And we do have some panels to go over this. It's, uh, it's kind of quite heavy with the amount of glue that we have on there, and that's necessary, obviously, but the panels will cover that up if there is any warping. Okay, keep holding that in place. Perfect. All right, so now we can take our final little panels for the back and get those glued into place. Make sure you maintain an even border here. large panel that's going to go right there. Let's get that in place. And 
nice even border. Okay, press that down. And that's that. So that's the main, that's, that's it for the box. And again, we just have some cool 3D little, uh, cool little 3D elements that we're gonna put inside in just a moment here. So I'm curious how many of you actually still listen to records. Uh, I have a pretty good record collection. Nothing crazy, I, I don't go out of my way. Um, but I do, a lot of it is old classic rock and um, some new stuff, but there you go. So you can see how the hinge mechanism works and that is perfect, that looks great. Okay, so another thing we can do before we get into the assembly of the little mechanisms on the inside is we have this little piece and we also have this little piece. Okay, this is gonna get glued center right on this piece. So I'll throw a little bit of glue on the back. And this is gonna this is gonna be our little mechanism that we use to lock this thing. So get that centered. Press that into place. And this flat section here is gonna be right here where that little cutout is. It's gonna go right there like that, up flush as far as it'll go. So it's flush with the bottom of the little lid that opens up and closes. I guess there's technically like two lids to this, but whoops, you know what? I put glue on this whole thing. You don't wanna do that. I'll just rub some of that off. You just need to put it, don't go below that straight line there. And just pop that right into place. Make sure it's flush with the bottom nice and centered and just hold that for a moment. Okay, that is looking pretty sharp there. Um, now to keep this thing closed, we typically, uh, especially in the past, we've used little Velcro dots. Um, you can take a look at our supply list or go to tool section of our app um, to find the actual product. And I just have uh, the backing on one side peeled off. I'll put it right on that little section that we just glued down. Peel off the other backing. And we'll close it. Make sure it's centered before you press down. There we go. And then if you listen, there we go. So the Velcro goes exactly where it needs to go. And you can keep it nice and closed. Okay. All right, so there's a couple uh, simple pieces that we can assemble real quick. It's these guys here, and this guy's gonna go on separately. I have, uh, looks like almost like a holographic paper. And, well, you know what? We're actually not using any glue here. We're gonna foam square these to give them dimension. So I'll take and just put one little foam square on the green section and put that on nice and centered on my holographic section, like so. And that is not centered at all. That's better. Okay, and then I'll take, and I'm actually gonna use, uh, this might be a little overkill, but I think it'll keep it nice and sturdy. I'm gonna use three foam squares on the bottom of this and three little knobs. We have little markers here to help you with the positioning of all of these. All right, so I see what I was doing wrong here. Um, there's three markers to help you with the positioning of the first one, okay? Let's do the same thing on this one here. We'll do three little foam squares just to keep it nice and sturdy. Otherwise it'll kind of wobble. We don't want that. And then use the next three to get this one aligned. Uh, by the way, there are three of these green circles. Two are the same size. One's a little bit smaller. The smaller one's gonna go down here. So don't, uh, don't accidentally put the smaller one on this little guy here. Okay, so that's gonna go like that. And then we'll do one a little foam square on this guy here. 
and that's going to go right there, just like that. Okay, so we're going to put glue on this section here, and then grab the other section and put a little bit of glue right up to the edge of the other end, right where the little teeth are. Okay, because we need to join this together and make it all one long piece. And then just butt this up right up to the little score mark there. I'm going to be right on top of it. Okay, and then just press that into place. Make sure it's nice and straight. There we go. Just like that. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So go ahead and put some glue on that piece there. Whoops. And then also a little bit on the very edge of that section. Bring that around. And then glue that down right up to that little score mark. You want to be right on top of it. Okay. Just make sure it's nice and straight. There we go. So we have a little circle here. Okay. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to take one of these little rings. I'm just going to pop it inside. I might need to lift some of these teeth out of the way to get the whole thing in there. Just make sure that it's in the center with all the teeth on one side sticking out. Basically making like a little skeleton frame for this guy. There we go. I think I got them all. Oh, missing one here. There we go. Okay. All right. And then flatten it out. Just like that. And then we can begin. It's a lot of tabs, but you don't need to worry about putting glue on every single inch of every single one of these. I'm just going to do little dots, just a few little tiny dots on a couple of these. And we'll fold them over. I'm going to actually use my surface, my table to help me. And once we get it anchored, the rest of it will go pretty easy. Okay. So we have these tabs glued down. That is working beautifully. So we can flare these out. And I'm just going to do a bunch of these. Just a tiny little dot. This will go real quick. Just do as many as you can, as many as you feel comfortable with. Okay, and then fold those over. Put those down on your surface. Make sure they're underneath. And then just take and run your finger along like that. Okay, we do want to make sure that it's up as far as it'll go against the edge of this little circle. There we go. Okay. And how are we doing here? Looks like I missed a couple. It's okay. You can always go back and reapply a little glue to these sections here and just press those down. And there we go. So you can see how all these are looking nice and flush. And then we can flare some more of these out. And if we were having to do all of these one at a time, that would be kind of a pain, but we're literally just making sure that we've got glue on them. And just kind of running our fingers along the edge. And I'm also kind of pushing in as I push down just to make sure that it's all making good contact there. Okay. There we go. Press that down. It's looking sharp. We got one little triangle there. That needs a little extra love. Okay. And that just leaves a handful on the one side. Then we're going to repeat that same process with the other ring on the other side to make this nice and dimensional. So fold those over, put it down on your surface, and just press down like so. And there we go. Not quite. Kind of rushed it. Maybe didn't 
didn't get enough glue on that one. It's okay. There we go. Okay. So that's what that should look like, essentially. And then I can flare these out. And because it's already already has most of its shape, I'll just pop this in. Like so. Okay. And we're gonna do the same thing here. I'm just gonna glue this like so. Let's get it anchored on a couple of these tabs here. Let's go two, three, four, five, let's do six. Bring those down. And actually just for the first few, just press those down manually. Like so. And then we'll just work our way around the rest here. Get the rest of these glued down, then we'll put the top and bottom on and we'll be on the home stretch here. But yeah, it's nice to know that, I uh, actually went to a, a local record shop to grab some, grab some 45s that I incorporated into the uh, staging for the, sh for the shoot, for the photos. And I was talking to the owner and, you know, vinyl is, vinyl is really hot right now. Now there's a lot of, you know, current artists that are also still releasing things on vinyl. And it's, it's cool. I, I, I know uh, there was a moment where I was, I was camping and uh, I brought, <laughs> I brought a turntable and some speakers cause it was, they had electricity. And uh, this was in Wisconsin at, um, oh boy, what was it called? Uh, I don't remember. It was Snuggle something or Turtle something, I don't know. Anyway, it was a campground near uh, East Troy where they have um, Alpine Valley. And I was on top of a hill with the record player and I was playing Days of Future Past um, on vinyl, the Moody Blues. And I heard things uh, in a, variety, a bunch of those songs, especially um, Tuesday Afternoon and Tuesday Afternoon and of course Nights in White Satin. I heard, I heard elements in that song that I'd never heard digitally or on CD or anything. And that was the moment I realized all that, all the things that people said about how, um, vinyl captures music better than any digital medium. Now that may have changed. I think, uh, maybe, well, you know what, maybe it hasn't actually. Um, I don't know that it has. You would think that by now it would, but and I, I finally realized what they meant. And that's when I was sold on vinyl. So <laughs> they have this, I also have this doomsday mentality where uh, I don't put all my eggs in one basket as far as music goes because, hey, you know, um, the possibility of like a solar flare or something sounds like, you know, some, some tin hat type stuff, some conspiracy theory type stuff, but uh, it's, it's a real thing. Um, and you know, one day if, you know, all the CDs and all the hard drives get burnt out by the sun because of a solar flare, uh, it'll be good to have some things on vinyl to listen to. But anyway, I'll take my tin hat off now and we've created this 3d wheel. And now at this point, we're going to take these two pieces and just glue them on. Okay to make our little dimensional record. So it's okay if you go a little bit heavier with the glue here. Okay, we're gonna take this glue and spread it out to the very edge. And try to make this as seamless as possible. And I suppose we could have, uh, like the buttons, could have made this flat, but you know, again, try to make things as cool and dimensional as possible. Uh, those little buttons would have been that would have been a pain to put together dimensionally since they're so small but this was this was big enough to where we said you know what let's just try it 
and it's not a big deal. Okay, so pop that on there. Just keep running your finger along the perimeter until everything sits nice and flat. And that seam looks great, actually. Very happy with that. Just keep pressing down. Great. Very happy with that. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing on the bottom just to close it up. Go ahead and apply your glue. I'll do a little extra ring there. But speaking of music, uh, this actually came up in the group not that long ago. Uh, but the, the the name of the company is actually inspired by a song called Dreaming Tree by Dave Matthews. And I try to collect his stuff on vinyl as well. He's one of my one of my favorite artists. I may not agree with him on a lot of things politically, but uh, I have no problem putting that aside when it comes to people. We may not agree on things politically, but we can still be friends. Although, I kinda wish that some artists would just keep politics out of their mouths. Okay, so there you go. So that's done, and now what we're gonna do is we need to take and glue this part of the little record down. Now you'll notice that there are some little score marks on this. Okay, so you know what, let's put this together real quick. Before we do anything else, we have this little piece here that's gonna go in the center. There's four markers in the center of this to help you get this aligned correctly. So throw a little bit of glue on this piece and look for those little score marks. Get that placed nice and center. There we go. Just like that, press that down. And then we have two of these. We're gonna double these up We'll glue one on top of the other, and then we'll glue that down. There's also some markers for this piece on that blue piece that we just put down. But let's, let's glue these back to back, like so. And that's just to thicken it up a little bit, make it look nice and dimensional. Okay. And then throw a few little dots of glue onto and just use those little markers. The, the markers are like little U-shapes and they're gonna go into these little valleys on this little element here. Okay, press that down, there we go. Okay, and then this is gonna go right onto the center of this little piece that we just put together. So go ahead and get your glue on the back of this. But anyway, um, as far as music goes, my top three right now are, if I want to listen to something familiar that I know I'm gonna love uh, in no particular order, it's probably um, John Mayer, Dave Matthews, and The Grateful Dead. Those are my top three, I'd say. Okay, there we go. Just keep pressing that down, make sure it's nice and centered. Did I get it centered? Yes, looks pretty good, I'd say. Okay, so now this is gonna get, you'll notice that there's markers here. This is gonna get glued down like so in between those four markers. So just make sure you get that centered. Find the side that looks the best, in your opinion, from the front. And use that in the front, hide any little mistakes you may have which you probably don't. Okay. And I'm gonna do a nice thin little line around the perimeter and spread that out. I want it to sit nice and flush on the structure here. Okay, and I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so we have this piece, I've pre-folded everything, 
And if you kind of just play with it, you can see what it's gonna ultimately end up looking like, okay? So first thing we're gonna do, if I'm holding it like this, you notice there's a little B uh, etched into one of the sides here. Uh, that indicates the bottom. So I have that facing me right now, and we're gonna start with this little tab here. Just throw a little bit of glue on it. It's a very simple little piece to put together. Shouldn't be difficult at all. We'll tuck that underneath that section with the B. Line it up as accurately as you can. Press that into place. Very simple. Okay. And then we're gonna kind of flip over to this side and apply some glue to this little tab here. And just spread that out nice and thin. We're gonna tuck that in and line that up. Give that a good press. Make sure it's lined up properly. Mine's kind of mine's kind of going in too far. There we go, much better. Okay. Looks good. You can actually put that down on your surface too if you need to. Okay. So now we're gonna take and Okay, so next, we're gonna take and put glue on this little triangular tab and this little trapezoid. We're gonna do those together. So a little bit there, a little bit there. We're gonna tuck that in. We can move this out of the way and line this up first. Give that a quick squeeze and then take the triangular tab and line that up and give that a quick squeeze. You can then put that down on your surface. If you have a, a little dowel, it might help to just kind of pop it in there and press down with the dowel on both sides instead of trying to get your finger in there. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna close this up. Okay, so let's do this. Let's put glue on the remaining four tabs here shouldn't be a shouldn't be too difficult and let's spread that glue out there as well as here okay then we're going to tuck this in and get that up against that side and then the top as well. Just pop that in. There we go. And just hold that if you need. You can open up this little end here. Grab a dowel to help you press down on that side as well as the bottom. Okay. There we go. Then finally, we have these three little tabs here. We'll put some glue on those and close it up with the square or rectangular little lid. I'll spread that glue out nice and thin and close it up. Perfect. Okay. Wonderful, okay. So this is, you can see where the B is. It's gonna go like this, okay? So if you're using a thicker paper like I am for this, which you probably won't be, I would suggest just gluing the top first, like this. Get it right out to the very edge, nice and centered. And these two pieces are gonna go over the sides. But let's get that glued down first. And of course I'm getting little bits of glue on there for my fingers. It's a holographic paper. It's not very forgiving, but luckily I was able to scrape that off. And then we're gonna fold these two sides over and glue them onto the side, like so. And then just press that down and hold it in place.
Okay, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Like that. And just fold that over and press and hold until both sides are nice and flush and in place. Okay, so that's gonna get glued down like so. Nice and flush with uh, the two sides here. So that's gonna go right on here, flush with the back, flush with the two sides, and just basically sitting like that. I'm gonna take this and actually ink this a little bit. Um, since I did ink all of the other um, colors that Lagoon is the color. So I'm just gonna hit this, hit the surface of this and the sides with a little bit of ink just to kind of distress it a little bit. I don't know, a lot of you have started inking your projects, which I think is wonderful. It really adds a nice little dimension to pretty much anything you do with paper. I'm not so worried about the bottom. Okay, and then we have this tiny little orange element that we're gonna put right at the very end of the record player head and then glue that down like so. Let's see how that looks. That looks great. Okay, so you can just throw a little bit of glue right on top of this guy here. I'm gonna spread that out to the perimeter just to make sure everything sits nice and flat. And again, flush with the back, flush with the sides. Hold that in place. And voila. Okay, and there we go. So you open it up, reveals our cool little record player, and then of course doubles as a box, and is ready to go. So definitely a little bit more involved because of the 3D elements, but uh, I don't think you're gonna find anything like this anywhere else. So if you have, you know, maybe, um, a 60th birthday party or you know someone's turning uh, a milestone birthday and you want to give them something super special uh, this will work out great so anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please take a moment and visit us on youtube hit that subscribe button while you're there hit the little bell so that you get notifications anytime we release a new product whether it be paid or free and if you make this or anything from this latest bundle i'd love to see it and so would the rest of our community so head over to your facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Official, where you can find myself and over almost 42,000 dreamers that inspire us daily. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and as always, I look forward to crafting with you again. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos, and also, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section, where we have over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly videos. I look forward to crafting with you soon.